All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for spending any moment of your day with me on my channel. I've already taken them first order from Instacart. It was $28. It only went like a mile and a half. Didn't take any time to shop. Took a long time to get the offer, though. Wasn't seeing anything, so I had to call Instacart and say, like, look, I haven't seen much batches since Wednesday. So I don't know if that had any effect or not, but I got that, like, mid-chat. So I took it and, and dropped it off. And then when I came back out, I waited again for a little while. And then eventually I contacted them again, told them, what's the deal? I'm at $30 three hours in. And it, it's just frustrating. You know, I did a shop only in, in the middle of that as well. So about $33. So a lot of sitting around again. And in the middle of that chat, I got a $31 offer, which I'm on now. Two people already dropped the first one off, almost to the next one. And I think it was about 13 miles. As long as I'm not getting offers, I'm gonna keep pestering them within the chat. Because it seems to be like, or either it's just random. So that sitting around is not what I want to do. I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. I, I didn't do much last week because I had some things going on. If I missed any orders that I took today, here they are now. Anyway, a few of those were Instacart orders, one DoorDash. Now, some of you old school people that know I don't do DoorDash that much anymore are probably, some of you may be happy, some of you may not be. I teased this last week. Uh, I am actually going to make a run for a top dasher for next month, just to see that if I end the month with 100% AR, if that matters or not. Because I'm hearing if you finish the month at 100% AR, then you see a difference. And I'm just gonna test it out. And what that requires of me is I work Monday through Thursday. I have 13 more work days, including today. So that means I would need to do at least nine orders a day on DoorDash, straight, no no declines at all. On my second one now, which is a um, Wendy's order for $5 for just under two miles. I'm not liking it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna see how it goes and it's just gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna explore Top Dasher next month and see how it goes with ending the month with 100% AR. We have 98 more to go. <laughs> I've already accepted an Uber Eats after this drop off. I've already put in to pause my dash when I drop this off. So I'm gonna go pick up the Uber Eats from Sonic for $9 for just under two miles as well. And then we'll see if we get back on DoorDash. I mean, I've only taken two today and they've both been decent as far as the mileage goes. So we'll see. They got me with a $3 one for just a little over a mile. At least the drop off's 0.6 miles away. So um, it was Dollar General. The whole total was four dollars and 36 cents <laughs> hey drop that off what this is going to do is put me in a lot of areas that i am not used to being in that was a bad area usually no cash tip when you drop it off took pictures of the food well I took pictures of the dollar general items in the bag in my car and also took a picture of the house number uh, because i don't have any faith someone saying they didn't get, get their items or something it's just it's just a bad bad neighborhood very sketchy. Uh, any handed to me in a bad area, I'm always taking photos. Because I remember when I first started doing DoorDash, I got burned on a lot of the, the ones I got burned on were in bad areas. Got our next order, it's 550. It's going about four and a half miles. <laughs> and it's about eight items or so from uh, Little Caesars. So we're gonna, the only thing about going to bad sections of town is DoorDash is gonna continue to send you orders in those areas. So it is, uh, four and a half miles so we're getting out of the area but I think it's bringing us back so a lot of these apps will send you orders here in the neighborhood of where an order is coming in you guys all know this they'll, they'll send you an order especially grow up if you're near a house they'll send you an order they'll send you an order for that house and it could be clear across town but it's because you're in the neighborhood it, it doesn't make any sense but they do that all of them do that I never take into account when I take uh, when I decline all these orders that are like 550 for four and a half miles is by the time I get to the restaurant, the drop off's gonna be like two and a half miles. So it doesn't end up being too terrible, but you know, it's still something I wouldn't normally take. You guys, we got screwed on that last order. It didn't matter because like I said, we were taking all the orders anyway, but that, that 550 order for Little Caesars was actually two orders. I did not see that, I totally missed it. Yeah, no tip in there, no cash tip. So I don't expect that, but a lot of people say you get cash tips on no, uh, on no tip orders, but uh, the first order I will say was a dollar fifty tip, and it was handed to me. So, and then the next one was a contactless delivery, you know, and it was uh, no tip at all. Let's go over the numbers real quick for Monday. 
So I had six deliveries on DoorDash for $29.50. We'll talk about that more in just a second. Instacart, I did seven deliveries for $122.12. And Uber Eats, I did one delivery for $9. Now we will be pausing DoorDash if we get a better offer somewhere. And uh, I've got Gary's app, the uh, Middleton Technologies. I got his app to where it's not gonna pause me. It's not gonna unpause me. It's not gonna, you know, do anything. It's not gonna decline orders or anything. I've, I've got it like very limited just to keep up with the orders so I can kind of know how many I have in a row. And, and plus everything should be accepted. So you shouldn't have to like sift through it to uh, take screenshots. All right guys, I did 14, I did 14 deliveries. I worked 8.3 hours. I averaged $2.79 per mile. I averaged $19.47 per hour. That's probably gonna be in that area or lower when I start doing these DoorDash orders. 57 miles is what I drove today. Still, still very good. Uh, and I averaged 1.7 trips per hour. DoorDash, I took six deliveries, right? So the total was $29.50 and I drove 13.4 miles. So with that said, $29.50 at 13.4 miles, still average $2.20 per mile, guys. Based on Gary's app, it keeps up with the time on delivery. So it was an hour and 30 something, like hour and 32 minutes to deliver all those together. I mean, it's, it's not awful. It's like, it comes out to be like $19.30. Uh, per hour if you were to do it by the hour, but it's an hour and a half 2950 so not bad in my opinion I mean, I knew I was gonna get some bad offers. It just started out with a bang and I was so thankful for it So I couldn't complain about that. So anyway, all right guys, that's my day. That's Monday um, Look forward to doing this again tomorrow again. We're gonna we only got six today So we got to get ten tomorrow or get those two made up some at some point I'm not uh, like tomorrow. I'm I'm, a, I'm fully scheduled tomorrow on DoorDash so we'll see what happens. I might try to knock out the, the tin and get it out of the way. Uh, but usually Instacart's pretty hot in the morning, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll have to tune in and find out. But I am going to knock out those tin tomorrow to get myself caught back up. Like I say, I'm scheduled all day tomorrow on DoorDash. I need to take advantage of the time that I am scheduled on DoorDash. Tuesdays can be bad on Instacart, so we need to realize quick enough that Instacart is not going to be, you know, kicking or whatever tomorrow. Unless it you know, unless it does well, you never know until you get out there, right? It's great, in my opinion, to be able to turn on apps and go make money. I mean, and not have a boss. I absolutely love this job. I couldn't see going back and doing a W-2 unless I just had to. So I don't have any intentions to ever do that unless unless it comes a time where, you know, nothing, nothing's going on on these apps. You know, it could very well happen. So you never know. I don't have any Dash scheduled for Wednesday or Thursday, so I'm going to have to depend on Dash now to pop up. The scheduling for me is back to, I'm not, like my completion rate is not where it's supposed to be to get early scheduling, but I have early scheduling again. It's kind of weird. So anyway, I guess that's back to normal, but not really normal because I'm supposed to be at 95% completion rate to be on early scheduling, but I've got early scheduling. So I think they just opened it up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I do live in a small town that has DoorDash now, and I will have to drive to Alabama or maybe to the Alabama line to actually get scheduled for Thursday on Friday. So uh, it's just kind of weird. I have to be in Dothan at 3 p.m. to be able to schedule a day. So it's kind of weird. So I kind of miss out on Thursday if I work Friday, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's uh, something I got to look at. Anyway, glad you checked me out today. Appreciate every one of you watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the notification bell while you're at it if you do. And also hit the like button and comment down below. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much. Oh, and it, by the way, if you haven't checked out Gig Lebowski Gaming yet, I'll still put a link down and pin it in the comments. Please do so. If you don't want to watch it, uh, if you want to just subscribe and support, just subscribe and then hit no notifications, and then you won't ever see the videos. <laughs> but I appreciate your subscription. We'll talk to y'all later. Thanks.